Alright, Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Okay, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who people ignorantly call God by Hashem, which is in the name of Yahweh Shah, the name of the only begotten Son, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I want to give a shout out to you, Alchemist, pushing this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the name of Yahweh or Yahweh Shah, and to the confusion of faces. Uh, whose blood on traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers. Um, which makes you Israel, though you may look makes you Israelites as well, but though you may look like the heathens, you're scattered of monks. Of course, same thing if your seed line goes back to a so called Negro, Latino, Native American man. Well, and if your spirit bear witness with this truth and this word, and you can receive it, to you confusing the faces out there, you are Israelites. Two sisters that do this and learn Shalom. To the elect of the nation of Israel, whatever you mean, be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, who his word is going out to, shalom to you, and to the so you so called you so called Negroes, Latinos. I don't know why it keeps doing that. To you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, uh, you are the Hebrew Israelites. You make up the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, and um. Uh, or back. Um, as you see, the article says it for itself, man, because there's going to be a famine of the word, okay? Because Esau, Edom, who is the so called white man, the wicked, uh, according to the scriptures, okay, he's been revealed. It talks about how in Second Thessalonians that man is sin, uh, uh, how he's going to be revealed, and that's what's happening, okay? Esau has been revealed, and now he can't hide himself, just like Jeremiah, the 49th chapter says, For I have made, I will, for I have made Esau bear. Okay, it's out there now that who, who Esau Edom is, okay? And a lot of Edomites are actually acknowledging who they are, okay? And um, due to that, him being revealed, and how is he being revealed through the internet, he's uh, basically going to target uh, social media, YouTube, okay? So I'm going to read this article. And basically, this is really, like I said, the scriptures. Let me get, I got the other day. Let me get this real quick. Um... This is 2 Corinthians 13 and 8. For we can do nothing against the truth before the truth. And Esau thinks, okay, by uh by him shutting off the social media and the uh YouTube and all the other types of uh the uh um things that this work go out with, that he's helping himself. And really, once again, you're just uh uh, uh fulfilling prophecy. One way or another, Esau, you're just fulfilling prophecy. You can't Destroy this world. You can't get rid of it. And even if you do try to get rid of it, it's already out there now. Okay? So let me just read the article. I just wanted to get there real quick. It says, YouTube is going to bury borderline content. It won't tell us what that means. So this article came out some hours ago. It says, last week in a company blog post, YouTube informed us approximately 2 billion users that it will begin to change how recommendation fun function reducing instant instances of content that comes close to but don't but doesn't quite cross the line of violating our community guidelines what defines borderline content and what does the defining that where things get hazy it's laudable to attempt transparency with a user base the size of youtube's okay the recommendation algorithm is a black box anyhow and theoretically the platform could have been overhauled have been overhauled it without prior notice Content that's nearly over the line but technically kosher has been shown on Facebook anyway to be rewarded with more engagement and bug and the system that plenty of users are happy to exploit. Taking action to the level that the playing field, it can be argued, is a step in the right direction for YouTube, which has been accused of unwittingly nudging young users down extremist rabbit holes, specifically through its recommended content. And you already know that, uh, let me just read, let me just read, let me not start. It says, as stated in the blog post, YouTube plans use, plans use machine learning systems to identify borderline content. And they've been doing that already with what they call those AI uh, bots.
basically, um, they'll set up things on your account. If you have a page, they'll set it up. If the content, if YouTube doesn't agree with the content, uh, uh, basically, they'll set up like a bot. But it'll look like it's just a, a, a YouTuber. And basically, it will just put comments just to go against what you're saying. And it just keeps doing it. It's just programmed to keep doing it. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's called AI on this. I'm not mistaken. But um, that's what it is. So they've already been doing that. But it says, which will be trained by human evaluators and experts from all over the United States. As for Peely, whose evaluators or experts are and what organization they're associated with, a YouTube spokesperson would tell Gizmodo, we use everyday people across the U.S. as evaluators to provide input on what types of content are credible as well as to help identify content that might be borderline under our policies. The human evaluators are external. So an overhaul to major feature of the site requiring nuanced judgment is being overseen by unknown external eva evaluators. Whatever that means, off to, go, off to a good start, maybe we'll have better luck trying to. Sus about out how YouTube defines borderline content according to the same spokesperson. Okay. Let me see. If anyone in, in, if any one entity would determine a categorization for YouTube content, your first guess might be YouTube itself, but that does not seem to be the case. That's concerning. YouTube's blog post does note that evaluators are trained using public guidelines, specifically the 100. 60-page Google search and um, quality evaluator guidelines, which does not simply uh, supply a definition for pages that pos potentially misinform users and pages that potentially deceive users. And that's that's what Esau has done. All this time, he's been in PowerShell. He's deceived the world, man. Though it's unclear how much of the guide is applicable to YouTube. Basically, it says... A company spokesperson refused to explain that on record. Videos prompting a phony miracle cure for, for a serious illness. Okay? And there's been out there that there's been doctors that uh, found cures to cancer. Okay? Cures to AIDS. But but uh, 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 Esau, you know, Esau being a greedy pig that he is. Okay? He does not want that to get out there. He does not want you people to uh, know that there's a cure for cancer. That there's cures for uh, uh, AIDS and all other sicknesses. That he claims there's no cure for. Why? Because he wants you to keep going to uh, uh, to these hospitals, basically where they could get you on the drugs, and you basically is back a, a revolving door, okay, where they could get your money. And you have a bunch of doctors that's been killed off, okay, okay, uh, 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 because they had found cures to these illnesses, and Esau didn't want them to get that out, okay, claiming the earth is flat, which the earth isn't flat, okay, or making Blatantly false claims about historic events like 9-11 are given as examples of what will reduce circulation. And 9-11 was. 9-11 was an inside job. Okay? They want you people to say that the planes uh, uh, was the reason that the, the towers collapsed. But the, it, the way those towers collapsed, you could tell that it was inside since they uh, it was a demolition type job, man. It's how the, the towers just went straight down. Just like if you uh, blow a building up. Not to get off topic, if you blow, if you put, if you do a demolition to a building, you blow it up, it just falls down row by row. And that's how you see them towers go down. Okay? It's out there that 9-11 was an inside job. And see, and that's the thing. This man is being exposed on all different levels. Okay? And, 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 he, and he, he can't take it. Okay? Truth, the whole, his lies are being brought down by the truth. Okay? And he doesn't control the narrative anymore. So what is he going to do? He's going to cut the internet off. And let me just show you another thing. Um, this is on RT News. This is uh, January the 29th. Instagram down. Photo sharing site suffers unexplained outage. Okay? Now, I'm not going to read this article, but uh, actually I'm going to read a little bit. Millions of Instagram users across... Oh, excuse me. Salakia. Millions of Instagram users across the world have been left in the dark after a sudden outage took the service offline. Reports of Instagram being inaccessible, inaccessible begin arriving at 7.20 p.m. Eastern Time in the U.S., but the outage map is showing failures in both Americas, Europe, and Australia, according to the website Down Detector. Though the Instagram app will be open for some users, it refused to refresh the feed, send, or receive 
messages or post images. Users flocked to other social media such as Twitter, sharing the stories of their woe onto the hashtag Instagram now. Okay? And you're starting to see the people panic. Okay? You people really, literally can't handle, okay, social media or any types of social media, your everyday thing being down, man. That's how you've been programmed here in Babylon the Great, which America is Babylon the Great. Okay? But the thing is, this man, he's doing test runs. He's about to... Basically, he's uh he's going to shut the internet down. That's basically what he's showing you. Okay, he wants to. He wants. It's really this word that he wants to close up because this word is getting out through these uh social media and YouTube. Okay, but that's what he's doing. He's about to uh he's about to uh shut the internet down. Basically, this was this going to be the fulfillment of. That's why I got Second Corinthians thirteen and eight. This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall run from sea to sea, and from the, even, from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro, and seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. You people, mainly you Israelites, okay, you Jakes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the confusion of faces uh, scattered, okay, you are going to be the ones that re- reject, okay, what these videos or th- this word going out. That's going. That's what you're going to be doing. it Because once this internet is, is shut down, just how you've seen they shut Instagram down, okay, those people are uh, probably bugging out. They lo- losing their minds. Just And the same thing happened with YouTube just, the, uh what, late uh, November? I think it was November or October, okay? That happened and people was panicking. I remember when that happened some months ago, okay? So when this word is going out, but when uh, they shut this internet down, it's not going to be the case anymore. You people aren't going to be able to uh, get this word anymore. You're going, and what does it say in Isaiah 33 and 6? For wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, okay? And how are you going to have wisdom and knowledge if you wasn't paying attention to the videos or the prophets on the highways and the byways, because that's going in as well, okay? When they shut the internet down, you're not going to have any knowledge, okay? And that day shall fear versions and young men faint for thirst, okay? You're going to be fainting for this word, but you're not going to find it, man, okay? And this is what's about to happen. It's just prophecy being fulfilled. Esau thinking he going to, you know, stop the word from coming out. Really, he's just fulfilling prophecy, okay? It's got to come at some point. But um, this is a, uh, let me see. Second Ezra. It's Second Ezra uh, 5 and 1. Nevertheless, it's coming the to- the co- it's coming the tokens. Behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. Okay? That's similar to what I just read in Amos 8 and 11. And that's what's going to happen, man. Because a majority of you people outside the elect of the nation of Israel, you don't have faith. Okay? So, once all hell breaks loose, Okay, which is about to, which is is, is not at hand. You could definitely see it to those who can see it. Once uh, all hell breaks loose, this internet's cut off, and you martial law in the street. You got famine. You got uh uh uh, uh increase of crime, rising crime. Okay, animals on the loose. People are going to bug out, man, and they already are carnal as they are. So this land is going to be burning. It's all going to be burning the faith, man. Okay, so I'm gonna skip down to the point. Let me see. This is the eighth verse. Let me see. Let me see if I want to go up. There shall be a confusion also in many places, and that's what's gonna happen. Mass confusion, because you people, you know, you've been scoffing, you've been uh, uh, looking at us like we're crazy. We don't know what we're talking about. Okay, but that's not gonna happen. That's made. That's made up. Okay, but that's gonna lead to your confusion, man. Okay, same thing as you trusting in this place. Okay, but you're gonna be confused because everything was going so perfect at first, 
Now all of a sudden all hell break loose. Though there shall be confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be off sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mistress women shall bring forth monsters, and salt waters shall be found in the sweet. Okay? And that's talking about how you're gonna have people, okay, some of you people, let's for instance, you you do come across your videos, you listen to it, but you don't really take it serious. And when all hell breaks loose, people are gonna be asking questions, okay? And you're gonna be like, uh, uh well, I remember this, a little bit of this. Okay, but then you're not going to have the whole thing because you didn't really uh, take it to consideration. Okay, you're going to have people out here that have half the truth and don't have it. Or have half of uh, uh, full, that's, that's uh, going to have uh, uh, parts of the truth but don't have the whole thing. Just like, for instance, the names of the Lord. Okay, and, 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 and so on. But it says, and all friends shall destroy one another, then shall wit hide itself. And understand and withdraw itself into a secret chamber. This word, and be sought and shall be sought of many, yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and content and contendency be multiplied on the earth, because people ain't gonna know what to do. People gonna be so bugged out. One land also shall ask another and say, "Is righteousness that make if a man righteous gone through thee?" And it shall say, "No." Okay. At the same time shall men hope, but nothing attain. They shall labor, but their ways shall not prosper. Okay? And that's what's coming. Okay? This is the famine of the word right there. Okay? And these are also times where, let's say you do come, but it's times like the uh the uh the uh ten virgins with the oil. Okay, you know, paraphrasing that. That's what it's gonna be like. Okay? On a mass scale. And let's say you do come across um you come across a man of the Lord that that uh a elect man that does have this knowledge, that has the full truth and know what's going on. This is gonna happen. Uh this is Amos five and thirteen. Therefore the prudent shall keep silent in that time for it is an evil. Well, actually, let me get this. Yeah. Therefore shall the prudent, who is the prudent? Okay, the prudent is the elect, the people, the elect of the nation of Israel who have this knowledge. Okay, shall keep silence in that time for it is an evil time. Okay, they're not gonna uh, even if you like, like I say, even if you do come across a man of the Lord and he and he's not gonna give you word, he's just gonna do his own thing. You know, he's gonna keep it moving, man. Cause you people, when you had the chance to get this word, you just you, you made fun of the uh. The uh, very same people that was trying to give you uh, this word because they didn't fit your standards, so to say. They didn't look the way you wanted them to look, okay? This is why I'm going to end it with this. This is Isaiah 55 verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near, man. Okay? And what did the Lord say in, um... Uh, this is, uh, for Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under the heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, man. So you got to know the names in order to uh, uh, seek the Lord, man. It says, call ye upon while he is near, man. Okay? The name of the Heavenly Father to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the confusion of faces who could receive this, okay, is Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shah, man. Those are the true names. And without those names, you're through, man. Okay? But while you still got the chance now, while the doors of repentance is still open, you must repent. You know, call on those names. Repent for what you've done. Repent for all your ways. And get right, man, while you still can, man. That's what the scripture is saying. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon him, man. Okay? So, you know, you still have the chance to get right, you know, call upon those names and get this word while you still can because if not, when the famine of the word hit and you, you've been, you been, I'm just going to say how it is, you've been bullshitting around, then that's your ass, man. Okay? That's, that's on you, man. Okay? That's on you. Okay?
just how it says in Ezekiel 33, how uh, uh, you, uh, you, I'm butchering it, uh, how you do a song and dance, how you just come and hear the words as a, uh, uh, you know, as a joke, basically, and how you will know is that there a prophet among you, man, okay? I'm just paraphrasing it, okay? You people will soon find out there have been prophets among you, okay? But the door of repentance is still open, but it's approaching, you know, fastly uh, closing due to Esau wanting to shut this internet down. So, you know, that is the thing, man. So to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, repent, you know, you know, get right while you still can. Get this word while you still can. And um, that's my lesson. But uh, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Shalom.